<laughs> what do you, if you had to pick a favorite movie of all time? What would it be? Probably Gatsby. What? That's like a newer movie. Yeah, one of my favorite movies. I actually like. I liked it, but I know you didn't love it. You're a hater. I'm not a hater. I just don't like movies where the dude loves the girl so much that he dies. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's stupid. So if it was like the girl that loves the guy so much and she dies, it'd be You didn't even make that person. Like you knew that person. And that's even stupider was like that show or that movie was like he didn't even really know her. Like they don't even really talk about that. He just like moves in and then he's like, I met her a long time ago on deployment. And then she's like, yes. She didn't even really remember him. Do you remember that? She remembered him. She did, but she's like, oh my God, it's you. Like, she didn't really. She went off and got married and had children. She had a fucking life. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just like, one day I will find her. And then he does, and like, he's just like, I will throw these massive parties, and one day she'll show up. Like, think about in the real world if you had a fucking friend that was like, dude, I love this girl. I'm just going to throw parties, <laughs> <laughs> and like, maybe one day she'll show up. And then you were like, dude, that's never going to happen. And he goes, oh, okay, I'm going to buy a house across from her house and throw parties every night. <laughs> and then maybe she'll show up. Because he did. He lived on the other side yeah, of the lake. It's romantic. It's not romantic in real life. <laughs> only in the movie. And then, like, one day she shows up with her fucking husband, I think, right? Yeah. Or no, the friend. That's what it was. The no, friend. the husband was there, too. Was he? Yeah. Oh, I think he w- Oh, you would know. Yeah, he was there. But then, like, and she's like... Gatsby like she's just like she kind of knows him <laughs> and he's like I've loved her since the moment I've lived and like I just don't like stuff like that to where she's like and then like towards the end of the movie and I hope everyone's seen Gatsby right now if I'm rooting Gatsby for you then something's wrong with you you gotta go watch that but by the end of the movie she's just like I don't know like I I love him too <laughs> and he's like but you know he'll never love you like I love you and like it gets wild and I'm like dude just go away like start a family like she did that you know what I mean so I don't like movies where it's like and at the end of it, he dies. Yeah. And it's like, and that's the beauty in it. Like, he loved her so much that he died. I think we should watch it tonight. Just kidding. I just, it <laughs> annoys the fuck out of me. Even Twilight, when they're both trying to get her. And yeah. she's like, I, I, I love them both. They're like, I don't think she even says that. I think she just leads a dude on. Like, she's dating the Edward dude. And then he, like, agrees with anything she fucking wants. She's like, I can't fucking breathe right now. I'm going to go outside and, and talk to Jacob. <laughs> And he's like, I love you, so go, go be. And she'll go outside, and when it's all three of them in a room, she's all about Edward. And then when they go outside, she's like, I miss you, Jacob, and like is in his arms, and like it's just so stupid. And I'm like, God, like I hate that shit. I hate that. I like just, it. I'm just throw, I'm but just, I think it might be because I'm a girl. Maybe. Yeah. I don't like those scenarios. I don't because like, I don't think it's realistic. Yeah, I could see that. But but I think it's, it's so a girl's to fantasy to have two like people like all over them i think so yeah even in the gatsby yeah like that's when true. she had this like husband that was an asshole but like he was like obviously an asshole right i just realized that all of my favorite movies are like that titanic <laughs> it's the thought <laughs> titanic <It's>... pro harbor <laughs> well was the titanic like yeah it was kind of like that yeah yeah uh who pro else? harbor for sure pro harbor what else do i like like what is it about there's what did you consider those chick flicks not all of them right i wouldn't consider gatsby a chick flick but it's that type the notebook, of notebook. That's even like that too. That's the realest <laughs> fucking movie ever. I love that movie. Yeah, you do. Because is that not real? Like she went up. But it's like, the same thing. No, like, but he did. had a girl too. That's the thing. It's like, like we don't even quiz me on my notebook <laughs> shit. He had that redheaded girl over, and she was like, "Will you look at me? It's like you don't even see me." And he's like, "I'm sorry." He pretty much was like, "Yeah, bitch." I think of another girl, but like. <laughs> Please go to the dishes because she I, like. Went. I feel like that would be you. I feel like you would be so. <laughs> no, honest. I would not do that. I, I, no, I feel like you would be honest though. Like if somebody asked you, like, hey, like, like if I, I was dating a girl and she's like, you're thinking about someone else, and I'd be like, yes. Yeah, if you. But were. I also I want like you to you, stay here because yeah. I want sex. I feel like you would. No, that's pretty much what he did in that movie, by the way. <laughs> but in that movie is still not the greatest, like portrayal of like relationships but it's way better than some of the other ones because at least he moved on and like he went to war like he had a whole life and so did she yeah. it's like that's why that movie's more realistic but these shows were like the the dude just like does the everything and the girl's like i just don't know i'm so confused like i just don't <laughs> know who to pick <laughs> I'm just like, Duh. i feel like that's a girl's fantasy the way that guys like have weird fantasies about like 
like alpha kind of like fucking I'm a warrior and I have all these sluts all over my house and they're just bowing down to me. And obviously, it's an extreme one. I don't think of that. Yeah. But it's a typical thing that guys are into. Or like tigers. Tigers, yeah. <laughs> but with women, I think it's usually that. It's like the, I want two people to fight over me and I want to not know. Yeah. It's like, does that like turn you on in your head? No. Think about it right now. Two attractive men love you. And like picture yourself going, I just don't know who to pick. Like this party, like, <laughs> oh, like, damn, I want to, like, does that feel good? I would only like it if it was like the movie, like Savages. Savages? You remember that? that one? I feel like I know the name. What is, explain it. It's with um Blake Lively when she's with like two guys yes. and, and their friends. Why didn't you say the movie where Blake Lively is dating two dudes, two like <laughs> but, really but, attractive buff guys? Yeah, but they're like chill with it. I think I could do that. But they're not. They end up, did you watch the end of the movie? <laughs> Yeah, they all end up together. Really? Yeah. Damn it. They're Maybe like I didn't thru- watch the end of the movie. They're like a thruple. Oh. And they all like love each other the same. Like, yeah. Like so you were like, saying that like that concept, like you're that, cool with that? That would be cool. But like. You don't think it'd be jealousy in that relationship? <laughs> I think that guys handle jealousy a little bit better than girls do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like guys are more like level headed about stuff like that. I think it's fair for a girl to want that or to fantasize about that because it actually statistically happens a lot more in all those polygamous relationships. It's usually a guy with multiple wives or if you're Mormon, no yeah. offense, Mormons, I love you, <laughs> but they have multiple wives. Yeah. So it's typically that, right? Like and so, sister wives. Yes. And so I don't think it's that weird that women fantasize about having multiple husbands or multiple guys that are all over them. Yeah. I don't feel like I fantasize about it, but then now that we're like thinking about it, a lot of my movies that I like love are about that. You obviously fantasize about it though. And that doesn't always have to be a sexual, like horny, like thing. Yeah. It could just like fantasizing, like is like a daydream, right? Or just mm-hmm. wondering or like, I think you relate to those movies because you were, you wanted to be those characters I think so. subconsciously. Obviously you love me. I don't take it personally at all, but I think in a, in a cool situation in a world, I don't think it'd be that weird if you daydreamed about two dudes being all over you. Yeah. I would be like, that makes sense. Like, who doesn't want to be loved by two people? It's weird that it's, like, a cultural thing, though. Like, people are, like, good with, like, chill with that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, if it was a guy and two girls in a movie, then that would not, like, go down. Like, if it was a guy that was, like, I don't know, I like this girl, but I also like this girl, but I don't know which one to pick. You but know it what would I mean? be different. Because of, can you imagine a guy version of Twilight, like, the other way around, where there's, these, like, a vampire girl and, like, a wolf guy? And there's a hu- or I'm sorry, a wolf girl, and there's a human guy. Like I don't think it would be that way. It wouldn't be torn. It would be like uh, in the movie Twilight, she's torn between the two dudes. She's never considering both of them. That was never an option. If it was the other way around, the guy would be like, "Can't we just all be?" The-? And it'd be his first fucking solution. How about we all just like make out and talk about this? Like that would be like the guy version of that. He would push for that, and so it's like like Joe Exotic, like Joe Exotic in reverse. But uh, there's a movie with uh, Reese Witherspoon, Tom Tom Hardy, and then, uh, you know who Tom Hardy is? Yeah, I do. And then the other guy from Wonder Woman, the main dude that all the girls like, really attractive guy. Um, mm, is he like Captain American? N- American America? <laughs> he's, he's Captain Mexican, actually. No, no, he's like, uh, I forgot his name. I, 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 don't, I can't, Chris Pine. Chris Pine. I don't know. I have to look him up. Yeah, you, uh, you. I, I, I remember you saying something like that. You're like attracted to him. So in that movie, she has these two really attractive guys. They're spies, and they, uh, he, one of them goes on a date with her. Yeah. The other one coincidentally also like runs into her, and they both meet up and like, dude, you got to meet this girl. I like, and he's like, you got to meet this girl. I like, and it's the same girl. And then because they're competitive dudes, they're like, uh, oh, like I'm not mad. He's like, I'm not mad. How about like, I mean, if you can get her, you can get her. Like whoever gets her first gets her. And so that's the premise of the movie is they're competitive and they're trying to get her. And meanwhile, yeah. she's like hanging out with her friends. Like I had these two amazing hot guys. And like, I feel like that's like a, like a fantasy that a girl would have like two hot guys that are like competitive and vying for like, did her she know attention. that they were like, that they knew each other? She, that's like the end of the movie. She, she doesn't know that they know each other. Oh, so okay. she thinks she's lying to them. Um, or like she's Just keeping like them separate. To, yeah. She's going on dates with both of them and she's falling in love with both of them. Almost like one of those shows. Uh, and I think at the end she finds out that like they know each other. They're like best friends. Oh shit! They're like spies. Like they're oh that's part of the movie too. I think they have like gadgets and go on missions. It gets wild. It's been so long. We should watch it. I'm down to watch it. I think you what would is like it. it. Called? 
I don't remember. I'd have to Google it. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I don't remember how it ends either. So we probably could rewatch it. But like, I could see how that's like a girl's fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird that it. Yeah, it's never the other way around. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that clip, click on this link right over here to subscribe to this clip's channel. Or if you want to view the entire conversation, go ahead and click on this link over here to view the entire podcast. Catch you on the next one, guys.